Okay, so we're going to get into how to become a femme fatale. And the part that we are discussing is how to heal from a breakup. This is very important work here. Y'all are delving into dark goddess energy and you have to protect your energy. You have to be prepared for mishaps and letdowns and life happening to you. So let's get into this. So he, she has now the step-by-step -step on how to heal from a breakup and, and get your ex back. All right, let's get into it here. So step one, immediately after you get dumped, cut off all contact from your ex. Do not text, call, or grovel with them. Act completely content with their decision and do not show them any vulnerability. Be mature about things and if you can, end on a good note. From this, you will begin a no contact period. So y'all, if you suspect that you want this dude back, please end the relationship amicably right? Do, do not do it on some uh, turn up kind of thing where you're having, having to apologize for your actions or, or you're just looking like a fool. You don't ever want to look vulnerable. You don't want to ever be in a position where you are left being the one begging. If they want to break up with you based on what the author is suggesting here, you agree. It's no why, it's no what are you doing, it's no what I did wrong, it's no can I work it out, it's none of that. You agree with their decision immediately. And she suggests, again, cutting off all communication from your ex. So what is the no contact period? The no contact period is a period of 30 days where you completely ignore and stop speaking to your ex. Once the relationship has ended and they dumped you, you stop speaking to them completely. You don't reach out, you unfollow them on all socials and you stop posting on social media. You do this for a month. This is proven to make exes see you in a better light, she says. During a period of separation, people forget bad memories. They forget the reason they dumped you and instead reminisce on the good times. UGC, this is only, you can only play this out if you stop posting on all your social media, like you don't give any updates. You pause, you put the pause button on so that they have no further ammunition or no further justification as to why they dumped you in the first place. A lot of you help people resolve issues or any kind of little conflicts with the decisions that they make to dump you by putting some foolery online. She says not to do this. Taking time away gives them a chance to remember why they loved you and forget where they went, where you went wrong, right? If it's you that went wrong. This no contact period also allows you to begin project rejuvenation. By not posting on social media, this leaves him wondering what you're doing, but also enables you to enhance yourself and your world behind the scenes. Once no contact has ended, he will be met with a whole new improved version of yourself that is doing amazing without him. So she goes on to say project rejuvenation is during the 30 days of no contact, you will place focus on yourself. You will invest in yourself using methods given previously. You will create a vision board morning and night routines follow them strictly you will reconnect with friends and make new ones you go out when you want and meet new people but you won't 
post it where he can see it. You want his impression of you to be frozen. You don't want anything new skewing him reminiscing about the past with you. This is important news, you see. So she goes on to say, start a new hobby. This hobby can be anything in the world as long as it keeps you busy. There are two reasons for this. First, the opposition to sexual or romantic energy is creative energy. So therefore, in the healing process, it is integral to do something creative to replace the romantic void. Secondly, by having something that keeps you busy and entertained, it isn't another, and that isn't another person, it will enable you to detach from other people as you are the one making yourself happy, right? So you keep yourself busy to detach is basically what she's saying. Hobbies also make you more attractive. Now, UGC, I'm always telling y'all to get a hobby out here. A lot of you, your hobby is gossip. Your hobby is minding other people's business. You need a hobby to create detachment and self-interest, right? She says, practice meditation, saying affirmations, practice meditation, saying affirmations, listening to dark feminine subliminals. These will directly target your subconscious to change your self-concept. This way, if and when you do come into contact with your ex again, they'll be introduced to a completely new version of yourself, the femme fatale. Release your rage and purge your emotions from the breakup. Although you may not be completely healed, make sure that by the end of the no contact period, you are more emotionally stable and secure than you were at the start. So how do you emotionally purge from a breakup? Let's see. Releasing your rage and sadness and heartbreak freely is a key characteristic of the dark feminine woman. The dark feminine woman is mature, but she feels her emotions in its entirety. The difference between her and an emotionally unstable woman is she has control over her emotions, but doesn't let her emotions control her. You can do this through cathartic art, meditation, and writing letters that you will never send. Right? I personally like writing letters. I think that's the best way to purge. You're able to communicate. You're able to express. You're able to get things out of your system when you, when you write them down. Some, I mean, I've met women in the past who delve into the arts. They, they would write things down and then burn, right? To really, really release and let go. Let go and let God, as they say. She says, take yourself on three dates. One of the dates will be with a friend you haven't spoke to in a while. One will be with a family member and one will be solo. When the 30 days are up, this means two things. First means that you can reply to a text or call from your ex from this point forward. It also means that you can start posting on social media. After a long period of time of not hearing from you, not knowing what or how you are doing. When you return, make it, make it good, she says. Post while still retaining your mystery. It will turn your ex mad. Decenter your ex from your mind and life. Although this is a time you can now communicate with them, you need to remain emotionally detached and patient. You need to wait for them to come to you, okay? And believe me, they will. Men always come back at some point. However, the waiting will be the hardest part. If they dumped you, it is integral to not be the one to message them first as they need to feel like they're initiating things. 
Use the law of assumption to help with this. Mentally move on from the situation, and if you're ready, on to other people. Having options is something that will benefit you in the long run, regardless. She says, when he returns, and he will, put your seduction steps into action. This is why emotional detachment is so important. You cannot see your ex as a man who loved or hurt you. Instead, you have, you have to metamorphosize him into your target, your prey. Otherwise, you will not conduct the seduction process properly. So this is key here. This is key in what she's saying here. She's saying that you, we're, we're practicing the, the law of detachment and you have to now not see him as your boyfriend or somebody you love. You have to now see him as a target so that you're not feeling guilty or apprehensive or ashamed of launching the dark goddess femme fatale principles that you're learning. If you feel all caught up or it's not right to do the whole right or wrong of it because you're in love, you're not, you're not going to be in seduction mode. Seduction mode is you're my prey. I'm targeting you. I'm stalking you. You are my prey. You're not, I'm, I'm the whole human being thing. I have to put that aside for now and reestablish my authority my identity within within your eyes. I have to reestablish value in your eyes. How do I do that? Through reestablishing desire. So it can't be about, I'm in love with you, if I'm going to create desire. If I need to rebuild desire, I, I'm not gonna be able to do it from a place of, I love you. Harsh? Maybe. True? Absolutely. That's that. That's just what it is. That's just what it is. So we're hearing a lot about emotional detachment in this whole process, right? She goes on to say, if you want to destroy your ex, carry out the seduction process until the very end. If you want to get back with him, eliminate the last two stages of the process. Instead, mirror their behavior. Use mirroring to disarm and manipulate. In other words, match their energy. If your ex has other options, you must get other options too. Hello? <laughs> if you and your ex have agreed to be exclusive, respect that and be loyal. However, the instant they disrespect you or show signs of disloyalty, proceed to conquer them completely until they surrender. If they aren't showing signs of commitment, leave. They'll come running back. All right. <laughs> so that's what it is. I want to be effective in this breakup, makeup thing or letting go thing. Yeah, you, you, you have to see him as an object. And you want to be honest. You have to see men the way they see you, as an object. You're, you're an object to men too. You're something to, for them to conquer. That's what you are. That's what you get pretty for, to be objectified by men so he can see you as something that he wants. Something, not someone, something that he wants. Because if it was about being someone, then your character would take the lead, right? Then he would be drawn to your, your character, your, your nurturing, and all those positive, quote unquote, positive qualities, right? But you pretty yourself up to be objectified by these men, not to show your character. So you now have to flip it. He now has to be the eye of, you know, you're objectifying him, right? You are taking on what they call masculine traits, right? You are borrowing masculine traits in order to become a femme fatale. That's really what it is in a nutshell. 
That's really what it is. So this concludes the read here. A lot of you have asked where to get this particular book from. And the only place, because uh, I looked online, I tried to look online for you all to see where it's at. And it seems like it's only on Scribe. I have a Scribe account that I'm actually reading this ebook from. So if you subscribe to scribe.com, um, there's a free trial, I think seven day free trial or something like that. If you just want to jump on there to read this particular book, you can go ahead and open up an account for free and read it and then hop off if you want. You cancel at any time. Um, so right now, Scribe is the only place that I really have seen this particular title. Uh, I'm going to keep looking. If I come across any free, um, any free platforms where they have it, <coughs> I'll definitely pass along that information to let you know. My hope is that you ladies apply the knowledge here, apply what I've read, apply what I've also said to you, uh, in between and just don't be afraid because this is really a spiritual journey. Everything that we're talking about here, mentalism is spirit. Mental is spirit. That's really what it is. The mental inspires the physical, right? We have to get our minds right. If we want to live in peace, if we want to live fulfilled, if we want to feel in control of ourselves, in control of how we're steering our energy, you know, helping outcomes along, it starts here. Looking a certain way can only take you but so far. And there are many pretty women who get abused horribly out here because they don't have this, because they don't have to have this. When you have all of this, people come to you. But if you don't have this, people will hurt you still. They'll hurt you still. So that's what this series is about. So make sure you create playlists, your personal playlists, and add these videos to it because this is going to be ongoing. This is, we're in class now. And all the information that I come across that have helped me in my life, I'm now using this platform to funnel that, that information and seed you with knowledge and wisdom from wherever I'm finding it because I I want us to know. I want us to know. So make sure you subscribe to this platform. Share all the videos. Share with everybody that you know. I need all of my ugly girls to get this information so they can become mentalists too. Right? Thanks for watching. Let me know. Leave a leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're gonna do. Let me know what you've done already uh, in terms of becoming a femme fatale and embracing your dark goddess energy. I'd love to hear from you. Peace and love.